Hey, music lovers, welcome back to Yummy Leaks. This is Tolis. Today we are strumming the strings of history as we explore the 10 most expensive guitars ever sold. From Jimi Hendrix to Eric Clapton, these instruments have not only shaped music but also carried hefty price tags. So, let's dive in. Highlighting their unique stories and the iconic musicians behind them. Is there anyone out there who thinks that this particular guitar here could give to me one million dollars? Yeah, I don't think so. Let's start counting backwards from 10 to 1. Number 10. We are diving into the unique story of Bob Dylan's legendary 1964 Fender Stratocaster. A guitar that not only shaped his career but also transformed the landscape of rock music. This iconic Stratocaster was used by Dylan during a pivotal moment in music history the 1965 Newport Folk Festival. It was here that he famously went electric, creating a stir among folk purists and marking the dawn of a new era in rock music. Imagine the scene. Dylan walks on stage with this guitar, electrifying the audience with songs like Maggie's Farm. It was a bold move that shocked fans, but ultimately paved the way for countless artists to explore new sounds and genres. In 2013, this guitar was sold at Sotheby's for an outstanding $495,000. A testament to its immense historical and cultural value. The buyer, who remains anonymous, now owns a piece of music history. Bob Dylan has a great impact in music history. He isn't just a musician, he's a cultural icon whose lyrics have inspired generations. Songs like Blowing in the Wind and Like a Rolling Stone continue to resonate, showcasing his gift for storytelling and social commentary. This particular J160E, a stylish acoustic electric guitar, is often recognized for its warm, rich tone. It was one of Lennon's go-to instruments during the early years of the Beatles and was featured in many of their classic recordings. It was on this guitar that Lennon penned iconic songs like Love Me Do and I Want to Hold Your Hand. Imagine the creative energy flowing as he strummed those beloved chords laying the groundwork for a musical revolution. In a twist of fate, this very guitar was stolen in 1968 but it eventually found its way back to Lennon through a series of incredible events. This journey reflects not only the guitar's significance, but also Lennon's enduring connection to his music. This guitar, used for songwriting in the Beatles, sold at Julian's auctions for $2.4 million in 2015, recognized for its historical significance. John Lennon wasn't just a member of the Beatles, he was a visionary whose lyrics and activism inspired millions. Songs like Imagine continue to echo through time, promoting peace and unity, a testament to his lasting influence. Lucille, a Gibson ES-355, it's not just a BB King's instrument, she has a powerful story. The name Lucille originated from a dramatic incident in the 1940s when King ran into a burning juke joint to save his guitar. The fire was started by two men fighting over a woman named Lucille. From that day forward, Lucille became B.B. King's lifelong companion. He often said, I don't play the guitar, I play Lucille. This intimate connection transformed how he expressed himself through music creating a sound that was both vibrant and heartfelt. With Lucille, King developed his signature style, characterized by expressive bends and vibrato techniques. Songs like The Thrill Is Gone wouldn't be the same without the soulful cries and rich tones that only Lucille could deliver. Sold at Julian's auctions in 2019 for $2 million, known for its rich tone and the legend behind its name. B.B. King not only inspired countless musicians, but also brought the blues to mainstream audiences, bridging cultural gaps. His unmatched stage presence and deep emotional connection with his music made him a true ambassador of the genre. The Cloud Guitar was custom designed for prints in the late 1970s. Its whimsical shape and vibrant colors reflected his bold personality and distinctive style, make it an extension of his artistic vision rather than just an instrument. Prince first showcased the cloud guitar in the groundbreaking Pearl Rain era, 
The guitar wasn't just visually stunning, its unique sound contributed to Prince's signature blend of rock, funk and pop, characteristics that captivated audiences worldwide. From unforgettable performances at the Super Bowl to his legendary concerts at First Avenue, the cloud guitar became a symbol of Prince's electrifying stage presence. Who can forget that moment when he played while my guitar gently grips during the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction? Pure Magic? Sold at Julian's auctions for $563,500 in 2017, this custom-made guitar is famous for its unique design and using legendary performances. Prince was not only a guitar virtuoso but also a general defying innovator. His fearless approach to music inspired countless artists, from Lenny Gravitz to Beyonce, proving that creativity knows no boundaries. Eric Clapton's Blackie was born from a unique combination of three different Stratocasters. In the 1970s, Clapton scavenged parts from various guitars that he found in a Nashville music store, creating a one-of-a-kind instrument that would become his mainstay for decades. With its striking black finish and vintage pickups, Blackie delivered the warm, expressive tones that Clapton is known for. This guitar can be heard on classic tracks like Layla, where its rich sustain and biting clarity perfectly captured his emotional playing style. Throughout his career, Clapton showcased Black in unforgettable performances, including the legendary Unplugged concert in 1992, that intimidate setting highlighted his masterful finger style and heartfelt storytelling, making it a defining moment in his career. Blackie isn't just a guitar, it's a symbol, a symbol of Clapton's journey as a musician. In 2004, Clapton auctioned Blackie for a staggering $959,500, with the proceeds going to his Crossroads Center charity. This act not only emphasized his love for music, but also his commitment to helping others. Just a tiny break to give you the moment to like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and let's continue. Kurt Cobain's 1969 Fender Mustang was more than just an instrument. It was a symbol of his artistic identity. He acquired this guitar in the early 90s, and its playful color palette and unique design resonated deeply with him, setting it apart from the more traditional guitars of rock legends. The Mustang's short scale and unique pickup configuration allowed Compain to create the raw, gritty sound that defined Nirvana's music. You can hear its distinct tones in classics like Smell Like Teen Spirit and Come As You Are, where Compain's powerful riffs and melodies soared. Compain's Mustang became iconic during live performances, particularly at MTV's Unplugged in New York. That unforgettable set showcased not only his songwriting genius, but the Mustang's versatility. Proven it could deliver both haunting melodies and explosive energy. This guitar sold at Julian's auctions for $4.5 million in 2020, notable for its use during Nirvana's MTV Unplugged performance. Though Cobain tragically passed away in 1994, his Mustang continues to inspire countless musicians today. The guitar embodies the spirit of the 90s alternative skin and remains a testament to Cobain's lasting influence in music and culture. Hendrix's 1968 Fender Stratocaster, often referred to us as his White Strat, was a key part of his signature style. He picked it up during his time in London where he quickly fell in love with its expressive capabilities, allowing him to push the boundaries of guitar playing. The Stratocaster's unique features, like its three single coil pickups and countered body, gave Hedrix the versatility to create his iconic sound. Tracks like Purple Haze and The Wind Cries Mary showcase his masterful use of feedback and distortion, bedding notes in ways that had never been heard before. One of the most memorable moments with this Stratocaster was during his performance at Woodstock in 1969, where he delivered a haunting rendition of the Star Spangled Banner. The way he manipulated the guitar sounds turned a patriotic song into a powerful statement of the era. Jimi Hendrix's 1968 Fender Stratocaster sold at Julian's auctions in 2020 for $2 million. 
Though Hendrix passed away in 1970, his 1968 Fender Stratocaster remains a symbol of his genius. It paved the way for countless guitarists who were inspired to explore new sounds and techniques, commenting Hendrix's place as a pioneer in rock music. Designed in 1994 by Steve Vai and Ibanez, the Evo guitar is not just an instrument, it's a work of art. Its unique body shape and striking color scheme make it instantly recognizable. What truly sets Eva apart is its dual floating tremolo system, which allows for extraordinary pitch bends and expressive whammy effects. Equipped with custom DiMaggio pickups, Evo delivers a wide range of tones, from shearing highs to rich warm lows. You can hear its versatility in tracks like For the Love of God, where the guitar sings with emotional depth, showcasing Vice's signature blend of technical precision and lyrical playing. One of the most memorable moments featuring Evo was during Vice's performance at the 1990 G3 concert, where he wowed audiences alongside legends like Joy Satriani and Eric Johnson. His dazzling solos and innovative use of effects left a lasting impression, cementing his status as a guitar icon. Sold at Julian's auctions in 2022 for $1.2 million, celebrated for its unique design and role in Vice music. Evo has become synonymous with Steve Vai's legacy, inspiring countless guitarists to explore new techniques and express their individuality. Slash's 1959 Les Paul, affectionately known as Lucy, is more than just an instrument. It's a rock and roll icon. Acquired in the late 80s, this particular guitar features a stunning sunburst finish and a distinctive flame maple top. Do you know that Slash initially bought it for just $1,500? Talk about a steal. This Les Paul is known for its thick, creamy tone thanks to its humbucker pickups. You can hear its unmistakable sound in classic tracks like Sweet Child of Mine and November Rain. The way Slash manipulates the guitar stones and sustain has influenced countless guitarists and set a benchmark for rock tones. One of the most memorable moments with Lucy was during Guns N' Roses' legendary performance at the 1991 MTV Video Music Awards, where Slash delivered a blistering solo that solidified his reputation as a guitar god. The visual of him playing that Les Paul, complete with his signature top hat, is etched in rock history. In 2020, this iconic guitar was sold at auction for a staggering $2 million, making it one of the most expensive guitars ever sold. David Gilmour's Black Strat, a 1968 Fender Stratocaster, it's more than just a guitar. It's a sonic canvas that has produced some of the most memorable riffs and solos in rock music. Gilmour acquired this beauty in the early 70s and it quickly became his go-to instrument for both studio recordings and live performances. The Black Strat is known for its lush, rich tones, primarily due to its custom modifications, including a humbucker pickup in the bridge position. This guitar delivered the iconic solo in Coffer Tumbling Up, where its expressive sound captured raw emotion, leaving audiences spellbound. One of the guitar's standout moments was during Pink Floyd's legendary performance of The Wall at the 1980-81 concerts. Gilmore's showing solos and masterful use of effects showcased the Black Strat's versatility and established it as a staple in his arsenal. In 2019, Gilmore auctioned the Black Strat for an astonishing 3.975 million making it one of the most expensive guitars ever sold. Jimmy Page's 59 Les Paul, famously known as number one, is a true legend. Acquired in the late 60s, this guitar features a stunning sunburst finish and a unique warning look that reflects its years of use on stage and in the studio. Page purchased it for about $1,200, a price that seems laughable today. This guitar delivered unforgettable riffs like Hollow the Love and Black Dog. One of the most iconic performances featuring number one was during Led Zeppelin's legendary 1917 concert at the Royal Albert Hall. 
In 2020, another similar 59 Les Paul once owned by Page sold for a staggering 1.2 million at auction, highlighting the immense value and legacy of these guitars. From David Gilmour's emotive Black Strat to Jimmy Page's roaring 59 Les Paul, these iconic guitars have not only shaped the sound of rock music, but have also become integral symbols of the legendary musicians who wielded them. Thanks for watching, see you next time with a new video, keep safe, have a nice day.